Buster, Buster Films. 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 Boom! That's what you want, ladies and gentlemen, okay? Hey, welcome to another edition of Grilling with Dave. I'm your host, Dave. Here's my co-host, Tim, and also house host. Oh, you want another story about freedom? Well, Dave tells it better. Tell him, Dave. Well, I don't know about that, Tim, but you know, there's a lot we got to go over today and a little time to do it, but a lot of festivities, a lot of activities going on around us. You know, before we get into that, we got to cook the food, all right? We got some hot coals over there, all right? We got plenty of items here, but what we need to do first is mix this meat. Set, go. America. Set, go. America. Alright, that wasn't really a spiral, but we'll forget about that. First ingredient in the Native American burger. Venison. You know you like that blood, you know you like that game meat. We got three pounds of that shit. Getting real gamey. I'm gonna need to clean up crew over here soon. Second, what else do the Native Americans eat? People want to say bison. Well, around these parts, all right, our people hunted deer. Not only deer, wild turkey, ground up for your convenience. Now, I know some of you say, what the fuck are you doing here? Well, I say, I'm staying healthy. I'm staying lean, okay? And we're doing this up right, so. We have the uh, nice 4th of July theme going on here. So what else besides our Native American burgers? So first couple ingredients we want to add here is uh, get some of our, our dry ingredients combined, okay? So first we have a little bit of brown sugar. I mean, I know this sounds extreme, but you know, I like a little bit of sweetness, a little bit of caramelization in my burger there. So we're gonna add that. Now we'll talk about that later, all right? Second, we have a little bit of garlic powder, okay? Now, unfortunately, you know, I was at the uh, the giant there in Roslyn today. Let me tell you, don't go to the grocery store on 4th of July. It's a shit show. I mean, I saw Priley's mom there like four times, you know, and just all the chats, saw D'Amico, saw Fast Eddie, saw everyone here, but you know, bottom line is, Try to do your prep work before, not the morning of, but what we'll do here is, you know, shake up our dry ingredients, get our eggs cracked, okay? Now, because, like I said, we have some lean meat, we're gonna add just a little bit of canola oil, okay? We wanna crack not one, but two eggs, all right? We're talking six pounds. We're talking six pounds. See, again, where's my fucking trash can? All right? Don't worry, we'll clean that up, no worries. It's hard to do it on one of these little shitty ass metal bowls, but we'll fix that. We'll fix that. Don't worry. All right. Some people say just throw the egg in there. I say scramble that shit. All right. We're not fucking around. You got to scramble it. All right. So, boom. You like eggs and onions? I do. All right. Final ingredient here. Uh, Worcestershire sauce there. Now I know some people say Worcestershire or Worcestershire or you know New Hampshire. Whatever you want to say, just make sure you get this, a little bit of soy, a little bit of like a ferment, fermented type of uh, you know liquid in there. Okay? So you know, let, let's get that mixed around here. Alright, get a nice liquid base in here because again, this is lean. This is lean. So Let's set this up here. All right. This is going to help us get a nice, moist burger on this. Okay. Quickly, kind of hand mash some of this together here. Look how look how juicy that is. Speaking of the great state of Maryland, do you know that's the home of the Star Spangled Banner? Anyone? Anyone want to sing it now? Look at all these animals waiting for this 
Native American burgers. Hey, can someone wheel that grill over here? All right, we're getting our patties swarmed up here. The uh, the patties, they're uh, they're looking good. They're looking all right now. You know, some of this moisture here, this is going to come off on the grill, and uh, we'll see how we do. Now we're working with the charcoal again, so let's uh, let's throw a couple on the heat. See how we do. See how we form up. Oops. You know what? Key ingredient, my friends. Can I can I get a sous chef here? Can I get a sous? Guest appearance by Nicholas Kiner. Do me a favor there. What are you drinking there, Boosh? Huh? What do you got? Little Trogues Nimble Giant. Oh, look at that, man. Treating you well? Drinking well today. Do me a favor, treat me well, and spray some of that spray on our grate. There you go. Get them flames going, son. We're using a lean meat, so we, we want to we get some, some spray on that. But let's, uh, let's go ahead. Let these simmer for a little bit, firm up, and we'll be good. Hook me up. And now a word from our sponsors. Yeah, it's me, Mick, down at the work site. Me and the boys are really hungry. Mick, I got the solution. Martin's Rolls. It satisfies Mick at the job site. It's what Americans eat. Next to what we have on the menu is none other than the Hebrew national, national tacos, okay? And I know a Hebrew national taco might sound a little strange here, but you know, we're going with the all American themes, okay? You guys all know, all right? We're American, all right? We have many nationalities involved, all right? So it all culminates into these ingredients, okay? So one of the main ones here, you know, who, who doesn't like a cheese dog? You guys like cheese dogs? Yeah! Uh, well, we have the Supremo Queso Chihuahua, all right? We have the Chihuahua cheese. Now, this is an excellent Mexican melting cheese. You'll see later. So, what are we going to be adding to this after we cook these Hebrew nationals? Sliced onion. Speared pickle. We'll get there. And the secret ingredient? Jalapeno. That shit burned my eyes earlier, okay? Because it's all fucking hot out here. I'm rubbing my eyeballs and rubbing my mouth and you know what? Watch out because I'm not gonna cook this and cut up this other one. Get it out of here. All right, we got plenty. We got our burgers flipped, okay? We added a little bit of this. What is that? Is that pepper? Is that salt? No. It's that lava rock salt from Hawaii, okay? That's what you want, all right? First, here we go. Get these bad boys on. All right. People say that they like to have a nice 45 degree angle on their hot dog. Now, I don't know about you, but for me, it just makes it taste that much better, okay? Now, some, some people want to say, oh, you know, hey, you know, line it up like that so I don't got to, you know, spin it around. But you know what? Then your shit gets too burned, okay? Let's check out what we got going on over here. Boom! That's what you want, ladies and gentlemen, okay? So you know what? We're gonna start to shift these to the side here. All right, let some things cook up. And again, see what happens when you forget to spray. That's the only one we didn't spray, unfortunately, but you know, we're all right. We'll give that one to the gods, all right? The gods of America. We'll be back, we'll get these turned, and hopefully we can feed all these hungry people. Grilling with Dave, we'll be right back. Books, mags, who needs them? I don't, because when I get my information, it's up to date. Have you seen the top five child actors all growing up? No, but I'd love to on the Yahoo homepage. Yahoo! Welcome back to Grilling with Dave. All right, so we're starting to bring it together here finally. You can see our product, what we're looking at. You know, we got some cooked dogs. We got some hungry people feeding in here, but uh, you gotta do the detailed work. And the detailed work includes toasting your buns. So whoever wants the uh, 
first Native American burger. Raise your hand. We're getting the uh, the cheese on here. All right. Looks like we have a bunch of takers in the back there. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Don't worry, we'll get there. We got to serve the people in the front first. All right. No worries. No worries. So, next what we got going on? It's our flour tortillas here. Notice flavors inspired by Mexico. Okay. So, you know, there's a lot of uh, a lot of controversy going on right now. All right. A lot of uh, things happening in the world. All right. A lot of people wanting to build walls and things like that. But around here in America. We treat everyone the same. What we got going on, like I said, I see we got head snake and pickles here. Look at that. People just can't wait around these parts. But like I said, we'll get back to the pickle. Fortunately, somebody couldn't wait till it was speared. So we got ourselves a spear. All right. Yeah, watch that, watch that, all right. We got ourselves a spear. Let's get uh, another wrap on that bad boy. Okay. The uh, infamous Chihuahua cheese. Now this has been sitting out there in the heat for a little bit, so it's probably already a little melty. But you know, we'll do this the non-cross contamination way as well. There we go. Oh, they have four Let that shit sink in there, okay? That's a cheesy John right there. That's a cheesy John. All right. Looks like the burgers are set. We got some cooked up Hebrew national tacos. All right. Now look at these sliced onions, okay? You can do them however you want it. You can slice them, you can dice them, whatever the fuck you like. Now, here's the, here's the kicker. A little bit of jalapeno, you know? Get a, get a little bit of a bite in there, okay? So, let's go ahead, get these burgers off. Who wants the burgers? Who wants the burnt bun? Who wants the burnt bun? Is that what you want? Is that what you want? Right. Come on. Let's uh, get the uh, cooked goods off here and we'll prep some sandwiches for everyone. Now, can I get the uh, mustard and ketchup in the back? <laughs> Mara condiments. All right, so just a little. Where's the mustard? Just a little. Oh, oh. High pressure out here in this high heat. You know what I'm saying? Goodness gracious. Should we turn down this heat? Probably. Yeah. Don't worry. Where's Timmy? Can you turn down the heat here, boss man? Let's get a little bit. A little bit of mustard on that. All right. What we have here is the Native American burgers people are sampling, enjoying. Obviously, what we have is American cheese on the Native American burger. I don't know if you prefer white, yellow. I'm actually more of a white guy, but if I see something on sale, especially Boar's Head, I'm getting it. What we're going to do on this, on my American slash Native American cheeseburger is just a few, <laughs> few sliced onions, okay? All right? I like to uh, make sure I get my fair share of ketchup on that bitch. And... Uh, Again, sometimes you want some uh, lettuce, sometimes you want some tomato. I like it like this. I'm telling you, you gotta try it out, okay? It's healthier, it's leaner, you'll live longer if you eat like a Native American, okay? <laughs> Just don't give them mumps, measles, and chicken pox with blankets. All right. Until next time. Small box. Small box. Yeah. Well, because so nine months out of the year, like they don't need that. Until next time. We'll see you all later. I'm almost done mine, and I just got it a second ago. Is the amount of America that I can taste in them. You told me that one. Two thumbs up. Americanimus. So Jeff.